On Wednesday, June 12th, two new cities will be welcomed into the National League to begin play in 1993. There are six candidates, and each one produced a video to help sell its city to the expansion committee. Here, then, are highlights from each of the six videos, presented in alphabetical order and without editorial comment. professional baseball, Buffalo is again a prime contender for a major league baseball franchise. And this time, Buffalo is ready. Pilot Field has become a symbol, not only of Buffalo's surging economy, but of the baseball heritage of this proud city. I'm proud of Buffalo. They've done a very fine job. And hey, let's hope we have Major League Baseball here. I am certainly uh, rooting for them 100%, and the city deserves it. It's proven that it's going to draw people and can draw people. This way all ballparks should be built. I have seen a lot of baseball in a lot of towns, but I have never seen anything to match the enthusiasm of this city and its fans. When you consider the facts, when you study the criteria, one thing's clear. Buffalo is the natural for expansion. There is no Major League Baseball team in Denver or Colorado. In fact, there isn't a major league team in the entire mountain time zone. So, a local newspaper let the fans vote to adopt a team. And did they ever vote? Over 140,000 of them. They chose the St. Louis Cardinals. So, for the 1990 season, the Cards are considered the home team in Denver. How about that? A home team 850 miles away. Now that's big league support. Maybe it's time to make Denver, Colorado, and the Mountain Time Zone, home to a major league team of their own. How ready is Denver for a team? About as ready as a city can be. Once an expansion franchise is awarded, construction will start on a new stadium, custom built and dedicated exclusively to baseball. It will be a classic. Open air with lights, natural grass field, 40,000 seats. Position next to major highways and with plenty of parking. While the team will play in Denver, fans will come from all over Colorado, Wyoming, Kansas, Nebraska, New Mexico, and Utah. Even as far away as Montana and Idaho. These are the Mountain Time Zone states, and this will be their team. Orlando is the number one vacation destination on Earth. This year, approximately 17.5 billion domestic and international tourists will visit the Central Florida area. That's over one quarter of a million people per week. They come for the most popular destination in the world, Walt Disney World. And what's even more exciting to baseball is the fact that tourism is especially strong in the spring and summer months when the games would be played this year alone. 700,000 people from the Miami Palm Beach area will take a pleasure trip to Orlando. In addition, one half million people from Tampa St. Pete will visit our area. Beyond the resident market, the potential offered baseball by out-of-state tourists is tremendous. Orlando's tourism industry creates a moving parade of baseball fans and potential fans. During baseball season, 60% of tourists come from cities without Major League Baseball. Visitors who will welcome the chance to see any team play, who will take a new excitement from Major League Baseball back to wherever they call home. Even Major League players get excited about coming to Orlando. 
35% of Central Florida's visitors purchase vacation packages, which could easily include tickets to a National League game. We are ready for the big leagues in every way. South Florida ranks behind only New York and Los Angeles as a media base. We have 18 television stations, 56 radio stations, and 19 newspapers. That's big league. The South Florida area is home to one-third of the entire population of Florida and has more than double the number of people of any other area of the state. South Florida wants a major league baseball team, and we will support it. We are confident that we can provide the organization to ensure its success. We agree with the expansion guidelines that one local capable person should take the lead and make a long-term commitment to build the team. South Florida has that person, Wayne Heisinga. He is known nationally for his business successes, including the building of Blockbuster Entertainment Corporation into the world's largest chain of video rental stores. We in South Florida see something else in this opportunity. We're the nation's capital for Hispanic America. With 1992 approaching, what better way to celebrate the 500th birthday of the discovery of the new world than by becoming the gateway for Major League Baseball for the Spanish-speaking countries of the world. We would love to become their worldwide home team. A fourth of our population and 10% of the U.S. is Hispanic team in South Florida would literally become Hispanic America's team. Another reason to celebrate. The Tampa Bay area is Florida's largest metro. Within 35 miles of the dome, there are 1.7 million people, 2 million within 50 miles, and 4.4 million people within a two-hour drive. In fact, the Tampa Bay area leads all markets in Florida and is second only to Atlanta in the southeast in population, households, and effective buying income. And it provides a bonus of 3.5 million tourists each year. The Florida Suncoast Dome is not just plans and promises. It's a brand new 42,000 seat stadium designed specifically for baseball. In the words of Whitey Herzog, it's the best dome I've seen for baseball. St. Pete seems to have built Royal Stadium and put a roof on it. That similarity is no coincidence. The Florida Suncoast Dome was designed by the same architects responsible for the Kansas City facility. True to its function as a baseball stadium, the playing field has major league dimensions. 340 feet down the foul lines, 385 feet in the power alleys, and 410 feet to the center field wall. In a four-week period, 1,000 community volunteers sold 22,697 season ticket reservations. No potential expansion city has ever sold so many tickets. Never have so many been purchased in such a short period of time. A commitment to baseball unmatched anywhere. Washington, D.C. truly is a major league city. And over the past year or so, the National League has been put on notice. The people of Washington, Maryland, and Virginia are demanding major league baseball. I think the Washington deserves a baseball team. We've been denied one for so long, and if they don't give us one, it'd be a gross injustice. Take a look at the Capitals. Take a look at the Redskins. Take a look at your college football. Take a look at your college basketball. You've got a good market here. It's overdue. A, they've been needing a team for a while around here. I'm a big baseball fan, and I'm looking forward to them having a team. Baseball represents America, and in the nation's capital, we should have American baseball. A proud roar from the crowded fans of RFK. That's my team Playing where they should be And our dream Is a dream coming true The Washington Nationals can become a reality. The reality, of course, is June 12th, 
That's the day two of these six candidates will gain entry into one of the most exclusive clubs in all of sports, the National League of Baseball.